Hi, my name's Tian. Um, I'm a graduate automation engineer at Newmont. I studied a degree in mechatronics engineering at the University of Melbourne. I uh, just started in late 2023, so I've been working with Newmont for about six months now. So what attracted me to the mining industry? Well, for one, I really wanted to work in an industry where automation is a heavy investment. Um, with how fast the world of mining is changing, I noticed even as a student that there's a lot of investment going into this space on autonomous haul trucks, autonomous loaders, um, a lot of different uh, investments in the robotic space and I really wanted to be a part of that which is why I joined Newmont. In my mind what makes mining a good career choice is for one the prevalence of it in Australia um, where are world leaders in mining being part of Newmont as well of course the world leader in gold mining too um, there's no better place in the world to get into mining than Australia, truthfully, just in terms of the opportunities you get, the development you can receive in the industry, and much more. So my work day is 12 hours typically. I work FIFO out of Telfa. It looks like waking up at about 4.40 a.m., uh, having a quick shower, getting to the mess, grabbing a quick bite, then driving to work. Um, once we get to work, we always have a safety pre-start every morning, which is very important, detailing what we're doing, how we can do it safely. Otherwise, the workday just looks like uh, sometimes sitting at my desk, working on our networking software, making sure um, everything's talking to each other in our pit. Otherwise, there's also a lot of driving out um, into our mining area, fixing up comms trailers, um, a lot of field work, um, hardware as well. And once all that's done at 6 p.m., we drive back, get a quick bite. I try and squeeze 30 minutes of gym in there if I can, and then that's the end of the day to get eight hours of sleep. A highlight of my graduate program so far has got to be rescuing a comms trailer from a flood. So surprisingly, even in the middle of a desert, we tend to get very heavy flooding if there's rain, especially around our tailings dams. Um, something very memorable was me heading out with my mentor in our uh, land cruiser, just um, already nearly ankle deep in water, hooking it up to the back of our car and dragging it out before we lost a hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of comms equipment in there <laughs> to the water. That was very memorable. To someone who's considering a career in mining, I'd say there's two things that really stand out to me if you want to join this industry or be successful in this career. One is a respect for safety. So that's generally a non-negotiable at any mining company that you work at. Safety is always first and foremost just because of the nature of the industry and the risks that are there for injuries or even fatalities. Second is a willingness to communicate very well. Um, in my day to day, I talk with multiple different contractor companies, vendors, um, support engineers on the other side of the world, and also our quarry manager as needed. There's a lot of communication in our day to day, and it's a really key skill to have to be successful in this role. So coming from Melbourne, where mining wasn't uh, as popular of an industry as it is in WA and Queensland, I felt that a lot of people, including myself, didn't really appreciate how essential this industry is to basically everything that we have. So in Newmont, of course, we mainly mine gold, also with some copper. Um, key ingredient of all the electronics we have. And with copper, of course, crucial ingredient of the renewables transition, um, anything from just wiring a house to laying down new power lines for renewable grids, it really is a key part of all of our lives in Australia. In terms of the transition to renewables, I'd say the mining industry is crucial, right? In terms of building new wind turbines or getting new power grids up and running, uh, new solar panels, all of that material still comes out of the ground. It's definitely our job to make sure we can extract that and ensure we can safely and swiftly transition to renewables. And what we can really do in the mining industry is make sure we do so, um, of course, with a respect to the environment and the traditional owners.